Hello, I'm in natural lighting. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> um, I made a short video today just to show you how I redid my altar and how that went. It went pretty good, to be honest. I just had some little hiccups here and there. So if you're wondering, this is my current altar setup. I have a memorial altar for Daisy right now which I think I'm going to be moving into this space where my permanent altar is. There is just, you know, some crystals, some trinkets, a pentacle, candles. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my own altar. It's gonna look good. I accidentally dropped and broke the blue candle that I got, so it's in this jar. And I totally busted my hand a little bit trying to pick up all the glass shards. Uh, so hopefully this will melt down and will actually look somewhat cool. A little bit better than the one that I actually got. Uh, this one's for the female deity. This one, it's just like a regular old long sink candle. I also got some sage and this is sandalwood. <laughs> I saw this really cool uh, piece of bark outside my house. There's like this really old looking tree that's had a few battles with like humans I guess and bark is coming off of it now and I thought this would be a cool offering as well as the offerings I already have up. So basically the first thing that you really need to do is get all your altar stuff off of your altar space and clean that shit up. I had so much incense that missed the burner and a lot of dust as well. So I just needed to clear out both of my altars and uh, clean them up with a nice wipe, a nice dust. You know how it is. Now here I'm basically just setting up Daisy's altar. Hers isn't really that um, time effective, but it is kind of nice having it, especially right now since I'm still mourning the loss. It hasn't been like a year yet or anything. So here I'm cutting up some flowers from the offering that I had for her. And I'm going to go put them down here at her altar. I didn't really intend it to look as pretty as it did, but it ended up looking really pretty. I tried to keep one candle there at least and you can see me kind of like making some indecision here because I didn't know whether to put out an orange candle or a white candle. I decided on a white candle because it's kind of an all-purpose symbolism candle so there's that. I decided to declutter the space by getting rid of all the cards and um, tip here don't leave uh, burning candles like near your plants. Um, you'll see like a daisy start to droop here in a minute. That's because there's a candle above it or below it <laughs> and it's not good. It's not good for the plants. So try and keep plants and candles at least a little partially separated or anything else. Here I'm just trying to decorate the space a little. I have all my candles that like remind me of like home and my sister and all of that there as well as some um, I think it's like sea jasper and snowflake obsidian. They're both um, 
really anti depression stones actually and yep move the plants move the plants <laughs> and I'm just burning some sage right now because I've been watching a lot of scary content and I want to feel safe in my home <laughs> other than you know I have, I have paranoia issues and it makes me feel safe so there you go Here I'm repairing the little pentacle I made and adding some uh, yarn to it to make it actually look like a pentacle because I'm not in my like parents house anymore. I'm not trying to like hide the fact that I'm like a witch any anymore and my parents already know and they're all right with it. So um, I'm just getting some yarn here and putting away some incense as well. Um, just yeah, it's just hot glue and white candles and white yarn. Here I'm testing out uh how to how to pull the thread around. There is a little like weird space above the like fourth candle that I had to move over, had to maneuver around to get to the fifth candle. I really do like this pentacle a lot, to be honest. <laughs> um, I got it, I got the antlers from a taxidermy place and sprayed it spray painted it gold it, it's reminiscent of this like weird uh, target candle holder that I had but yeah we're putting the final touches putting crystals at uh, Daisy's f funeral uh, memorial yeah <laughs> Well, we're doing it live. We're doing it live right now. <laughs> and here's my final altar. I think it looks really cool, to be honest. I need to put a rag under it, and that's how I'll incorporate another uh, pentagram. And here is Daisy's memorial altar. It looks pretty good, to be honest, and I'm kind of surprised how it turned out. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye!